has thanked him. I have to add in my thanks. Uh, we are gratified to be working with two great contractors. Everybody on the team from uh, Malone and McBroom from Cheshire did a great job and in particular the Dean of River Restoration, Jim McBroom. Jim was the vision behind the Fishway design and you know Jim has a reputation a national reputation for his innovative stream restoration work, but he grew up here in the Naugatuck River Valley, so this has been a very special project for him. And of course, again, thanks to Mark and Dave and Tom and all the other folks who did such a fantastic job. And um, the construction firm Mastro Battisto from Bristol was great. I, I think the results speak um, and uh, tip of the hat to Rich Zaleski and, uh, and uh, Matt and uh, John and Chris, all the other guys. It was fantastic. I'd also like to add my personal thanks and congratulations to my DEEP colleague Chuck Lee because he was the manager for this So I'm a fish biologist, so let's, let's talk about the fishway for a moment. It may look like a pile of rocks. Well, it sort of is a pile of rocks. But it's much, much more. It's not entirely random. Jim McGroom collected data from on stream configurations from a northern stream in New England, and he used those measurements to design the curves, the, the increments of the riffles and pools, this is an engineered system, even though it doesn't look like it. It's not meant to look like a fishway, but it's meant to look like a natural stream with pools and rapids and fast areas and slower areas and um, crevices and chutes, all the features that fish use to ascend a natural stream. Now, you're not seeing all the water that will be in the channel in the springtime. The current dry weather has prevented us from opening the fishway totally. But you, you get an idea of what it's going to look like, but come back in April, you'll see a lot more water. We, we certainly didn't want to dry up the falls today. The fishway is exciting because it'll benefit a lot more than the strong swimming migratory fish from the ocean. Fish that never leave the ocean, I meant to say never leave the river, will use this fishway too. Bass, trout, perch, suckers, everything is going to be using these, including those small uh, minnows and dace that will come up along the sides of the, um, of the riffles. And that's something most fishways do not do. We also fully expect fish to live in this stream, not just migrate up it, but they're going to be living in this fishway. And not just fish, but mussels and crayfish. In fact, uh, turtles have already been using it, quite a few.